Hello there, this is me, screen printing. This is my screen print setup. Uh, I bought this online for very cheap, so it's not very high quality stuff, but it, it definitely uh, works. This little uh, yellow hoodie, I actually screen printed. What are you doing? Why are you looking at me? Don't. <laughs> my girlfriend Jody over here. I can't say Why? I mean, will you, why? You want to watch? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm doing the work. So this is my screen print setup. This is the screen that I have ordered from Arena. Uh, it is a pre-burn screen. They have a unique burning process that I can talk a little bit about later when I'm cleaning up because it makes it a little bit more tricky on cleanup. But uh, other than that, this was uh, this combination four color screen press and the uh, flash dryer over here was bought in combination on Vevor.com, I believe it is. This is the screen printing setup that I have. I've got a little speedball squeegee. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unload the garments that I just got from both Target and Hobby Lobby because I'm high class like that. And we will run through those and show you what I'm gonna screen print today. And then we'll go through the action of screen printing. And who knows, maybe somebody uh, that comments down below get a free something, maybe a free white tee. We'll see. More on that later in the video. Plain white tees. This is large. So I'm gonna have eight of these large white tees. I've got a pinkish XXL tee, a gray XL tee, nice soft fabric. Got a large and a medium women's crop top, backed by popular demand, the pink hoodie. Yellow hoodie, mustard, yellow. Little secret item, little, little uh, throw rug. Chef's apron. Salmon heather t-shirt and a charcoal black gray large t-shirt. And these I will be doing probably um, some different sizes. I can get these pretty regularly at Hobby Lobby. So I might just uh, have some pre-sale on sizes and I'll print them uh, as needed. Video is brought to you by Humble Blades, finest craftsmen in the world. If you're interested in a custom knife, check them out. They're super dope. Chris is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna load this up with some ink and uh, everything else is pretty much set up. So this is gonna be a uh, pretty simple how-to video. That's some blue speedball water-based screen printing ink. Get some nice coverage there, that up, and let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna go put this up for a second. Idiot, don't touch things if you have paint on your hands. Number one lesson. I'm just gonna jump right into it and load up my first item. This is a big boy. So this image is about 10 inches long. So I need to make sure that whatever I'm printing on has the surface area. It is large enough to receive it. Nice. Caught that. Whatever. There's no such thing as mistakes, just happy little accidents. I had to turn this table around because I forgot that this has support on the bottom that needs to be held by the table when I'm printing. Okay, so we're gonna flood the screen. So this is the part where you bring the ink over all of the area of the screen that you're going to push it through. And then we're going to lay it on the garment. And then I'm going to do a initial pass and another pass. Bring it up. We kind of flood it that way and then lift the screen up. We should a nice little print. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now we gotta dry it. So this is the part of the process that has been the, the trickiest. So I've needed to, you need to heat this up to about 320 degrees for about two minutes for the water-based ink to cure. And I didn't have good temperature control last time. So now I'm gonna try it again with the same setup. I'm just gonna have a better, better gauge for what the temperature is. We want the whole garment to heat up to 320. 
that part's at about 2.30. So this was sitting on there for about 45 minutes. It got up to 3.20, 3.30-ish for about two minutes straight. And so it got cured and I took the, the sweatshirt off. Ooh, took the sweater off, a little hot. So now go for the next one, flood it. Place it. That's fun. Let's do the mat. Ooh, that looks real weird. Oh, I have to come back. I have to fix this. All right, so there was a slight mishap. Uh, when I printed the mat, floor mat or whatever, it had a different texture and so it allowed uh, some of that ink to kind of come on the surface that contacts the shirt. And so it kind of pulled up and made the subsequent print. I knew it was going to happen, so I took an old, old crappy shirt and printed on there. And it just made it like real not clean and clear and just extra ink on there. So I wiped that off, cleaned it off, and now I've got some uh, more shirts to go. So enjoy. All right, this is me doing voiceover because later me tells me that I'm doing good voiceover in the video. So this is me voiceovering for continuity. I'm rolling through shirts right now, getting some prints on them and then staging them so that I can send them underneath the dryer. Right here is a nice little charcoal gray shirt with a low contrast. That's pretty cool. Check kind it out. Kind of a low contrast. Nice. I like it. Yeah, I just said that. And so I'm doing some more shirts, a lot of white tees, rolling through them, getting them printed up. And yeah, this was just a about 30 minutes worth of work. Not too crazy, but I was in the zone, so it's a little time-lapse action. All right, we just wrapped up all the uh, prints. Sorry, that was a little hectic, just like getting my bearings. I wasn't talking too much, so hopefully I'm doing some good uh, voiceover on the video. This drying system is like turning out great. So this is holding right around 320, 330. So it was just leaving it there, each of these shirts for about two minutes, moving it off and then uh, putting the next one on. Uh, now is the cleanup part. Uh, my phone is losing battery, so I'm gonna try to show you this as quickly as possible. But what we wanna do is first, I want to get all of the ink, extra ink off of this screen and back into the jar because this is not cheap and we don't wanna waste it. Check that out. So, I'm gonna get as much of this off of here as I can, and then I will squeegee screen. All right, so I'm not gonna show this whole process, but um, I did wanna explain about this screen and why it was a little bit more unique than a traditional screen. So traditionally, the way this process works, screen printing, is that this is a mesh screen made of silk, or there's there's threads, fine threads in there, and you cover up all the threads except for where you want the ink to pass through. So it's basically whatever the image is are holes in this uh, screen. And so traditionally it's emulsion, and then the emulsion, the liquid is exposed to UV rays, and then it hardens it, and the image covers up a part of the emulsion and that's what gets washed away. And that's the basically the opening that the ink goes through to print on the garment. This particular screen is made, I, I, I'm not sure exactly how they make it, but they use a process that etches right into the fibers. And so there's no emulsion. So uh, they recommend that you do not wash this out with water. So what you have to do is wipe everything down, clean it up as best you can with uh, paper towels and get all the bulk ink off. And then you can start cleaning up with some, some cleanser or cleaner on the surface. And you just basically are wiping and wiping and wiping until there's no more ink left. So I'm not gonna bore you with all of that, but I did wanna explain it because this is a particular 
uh, peculiar process for this particular type of screen. This stuff I can rinse with water. And same thing with the other, the other things that aren't the screen, so. Check it out. It's a little throw, throw rug. It's the underside of the uh, heater. And here are all of the shirts. Okay, that was the screen printing process. I went ahead and cleaned the screen and put it away. Here's the product. I've got a bunch of different stuff. I went ahead and printed all eight of these large uh, Hanes cotton under tees. They're just classic Hanes white tees. I will uh, be giving one of these away to somebody down in the comments. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pick, but leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever YouTube stuff. Uh, I've got this large woman's crop top. This is, this is not a large by any means in uh, my world, but hey, more power to you if that's a large for you. Uh, a medium version of that. I've got this large charcoal, kind of heathered charcoal uh, with the blueprint on it. It's actually kind of cool. Very low contrast, but pretty nice, soft, next level shirt. I got this apron, this cooking apron that I thought was pretty dope. So a little uh, Tanglefoot cooking apron. Pretty stoked about that. So see if anybody else is interested in that. If not, I will be keeping it. Got this pink XXL, larger, but this is a really nice, kind of a heavier material than the other shirts, but I really dig that one. Medium, that turned out really nice. I may keep that, not sure yet, but I'm into that color. Classic gray XL, XXL pink hoodie, yellow hoodie, XL, so hopefully we can get, I think, I think somebody asked for that already, but XL hoodie, hopefully that one's already sold. Now that I just unfolded everything that I just spent 10 minutes folding, cool. These are all of the um, shirts that I printed. I'm gonna fold them up again, or actually I might just take nice pictures over here and then I'm gonna post them online on the website for sale, blast them on Instagram and see if anybody wants to buy them. And then I'll probably leave another uh, option to purchase a size of the two shirts that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby, which is the charcoal gray and the salmon color one because they have those, uh, you can just pick them off the rack. So I will let people choose if they want their own size of that, but I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. This rug is really cool, but it bled. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the video, but the, the brewing is, is not legible and it just kind of, because the material is so coarse, it doesn't really attach or adhere to the screen super well. So that's pretty much it. That was the screen printing process. I am by no means, I probably should have prefaced with this, by no means a screen printing expert. I've just been uh, researching it and kind of figured it out over the last couple of months. And now that I've got the heating element working pretty consistently, getting the temps to 320 where they need to be, I feel very comfortable with that because I was pretty worried the first few times I was uh, screen printing, they weren't curing properly. and thinking that they were washing away. This actually isn't one that I cured, but this is kind of fading as well. Anyways, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we'll do another video about how I launched these shirts for sale and or maybe I'll, I'll do some, some computer work and show you the process of that. But I am thankful for everybody watching and enjoying this content. And let me know if you want to see some more stuff like this and I'll keep print, printing shirts. And if y'all are interested in any of these uh, white tees or really any of these sizes, just jump on to the, uh, the Facebook or, Inst or my website or Instagram and see if they're available. By the time this video comes out, the supplies may be limited, but I'll, I'll try to probably do these cheaper, like 10, $15 white tees and I'll have those available. So if anybody on the, that watches my content and wants to support Tanglefoot and go to the website and buy one of those and I'll ship it out to you. So that's it. Thank you. Cheers. Nasdravi, everything. Bye-bye.